Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Bookish Traveler. And this time around, I'm going to do a review of uh, my trip uh, with my mom uh, to Harry Potter World Universal Studios Japan back in 2019 before the supposedly Tokyo Olympics in 2020. And uh, the story goes that I was supposed to do the backpacking trip alone but uh, my mom really wanted to tag along and I thought to myself, okay, she's of that age where um, soon enough she would not be able to, you know, walk that far. So I thought, yeah, this is the right time to, to you know, spend some mother and daughter uh, time together, time alone together. So um, this is a scene um, uh, in the train station, subway station um, in Japan and uh, leading to uh, the Universal Studios and as you can see this this was on a Friday and it was really really packed and like, it's this little girl this poor little girl she just she just is squatting down and just waiting for everybody to have their turn um, to get entry into the train and yeah so uh, a disclaimer I, I'm sorry but I cannot um, include any of the um, background soundtracks um, because of uh, copyright issues uh, and YouTube won't allow me to upload it because Universal Studios will, will, will reprimand me. And basically this is the entrance to Universal Studios and um, later on when we go into Harry Potter world there will be some Harry Potter um, you know OSTs in the background you know da 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 but, but uh, you know if, if you really want to recreate the whole experience you can just turn on another uh, YouTube player on the side with the soundtrack on so as you can see this is the path leading to uh, the place and there's the car the Weasley's car that crashed into the grounds in Hogwarts outside of Hogwarts uh, uh, and the yeah the first time the first time Harry and Ron uh, started school and uh, the first stop is Hogsmeade. So Hogsmeade is basically uh, a place uh, where Hogwarts students go during winter breaks. Um, this is uh, basically uh, 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 they have a row of shop houses and as you can see here there's like some it's odd although it's odd but the, the Hogwarts Express uh, a replica of the Hogwarts Express is on the side um, so basically it's a mixed part of everything like they don't really recreate it as in the book because Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade is actually mashed together into one place so um, the first uh, shop that we went into was a Zonko's magic shop and this is owned by the genies Weasley twins um, Fred and George um, yeah, we decided that they, 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 they wanted to quit school, uh, they don't want to continue school uh, and, and start their own business, their own thriving business um, after all. And as you can see, um, the toys that are sold in this shop is exactly like what is written in the book, the extendable ears, you can see the puking pastel and yeah, all sorts of things like the bombs and and yeah, so, so and 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 is actually uh, next door is actually Honeyduke. So everybody with a sweet tooth can, uh, yeah, this is basically the dream heaven, uh, because you get all sorts of uh, Betty Ports uh, flavor beans. So and the ones that that taste like smelly feet and uh, I don't know armpits. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you don't want to get one of those. But um, one. One of the potential things that people go uh, for in Hogsmeade is basically the drink, the butterbeer drink. And uh, yeah, so uh, we went to the cart selling butterbeers and I uh, made a point to take a photograph of the uh, prices there. So it's around $6 uh, for one cup and the butterbeers are available in hot or cold. And at that time when my mom and um, and I went to the Japan, it was around early to October and the winter weather was just settling in and it, yeah, so it was pretty cold and uh, we get the hot ones. Um, eventually I get another cup of the cold one but uh, yeah, um, I'd say that the cold one is probably tastes better um, <laughs> though, but because of the circumstances we prefer to have hot drinks at that time. Yeah, so maybe um, I'll explain a bit more about what it tastes like and does it really taste here um, it's basically a, a frothy uh, uh, there's a frothy foam um, on top of the uh, drink and um, underneath it uh, is a yellow uh, liquid drink uh, that looks uh, very much like the beer but doesn't taste like beer so it's more like a honey based kind of drink it's very sweet 
and uh, very although it's, it's runny it's not thick like honey as i was saying uh, it was nearing christmas right so it was two months away from christmas and they built a replica of the christmas tree um in hogwarts and yeah basically the the the, the ornaments can move on its own so it, it feels like you know it, it feels like it's a magical tree and of course, there is the broomsticks, um, a replica of the restaurant in Hogsmeade, and they sell all sorts of uh, food and uh, dishes that are mentioned in books, including triacle tarts and also the Christmas feast that is always held once a year in Hogwarts. And um, here I want to show you the uh, the wanted uh, poster of Sirius Black, uh, which actually moves and uh, yeah, that. Uh, although it's black and white but it moves just like uh, it's described in the book and uh, one is always amazed at the kind of details that the architect of this place uh, put <laughs> in terms of recreating the experiences that, 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 that people uh, imagine only in their heads like as you can see here there's the <laughs> screaming mandrakes and also um, if we later on go to the owlry they even create you know uh, fake bird droppings uh, just to um, make one feels as though as though you are you are in the place. Yeah, you are you are really in Hogwarts. And um, here's the owl post. As uh, and uh, let me just mention, it's one of the many 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 shops that are inside the place. So basically, is 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 designed to make you wanna buy things. And uh, if you're one of those um, uh, biggest fans of the uh, Harry Potter franchise, uh, you'll be spoiled for choice in here. Like this is here's the monster book that apparently eats things, and uh, yeah, so there's all sorts of trinkets sold in here. Like you can uh, get quill pens, you can get owl plushies, plush toys, you can get um, a time turner uh, necklace, and uh, also the hoodies, right? They 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 they're basically the uh, the robes, the uh, uniform robes of uh, Hogwarts students, so with you know different colors, green, yellows, um, denoting your house, the house that you belong to. And of course, one of the things that uh, you know that, that feels a little bit uh, sort of incongruent uh, is basically uh, you you are you are you're looking you you want to feel like you're in in Hogwarts, but um, everybody's talking Japanese, obviously, uh, and uh, there's Japanese schoolgirls in their uniforms walking around the, the the shop aisles and you're like thinking okay we're not in uh you know harry potter world in uk or florida clearly and um the last temptation is is definitely to get a wand because um this is this is this is as stated in the book right the wand chooses the wizard and and there's so many so many options to choose from and this is this is one of the last temptation that that i didn't manage to get uh uh, uh, to get myself in control and uh, yeah so basically you can get one of those uh, uh, famous wizard wands as well like you can get the elder wand or you can get the wand of Voldemort which has a snake coiled around it or you can get um, Harry Potter's Ron's uh, Hermione Granger's uh, wand a wand that is made specially for you and uh, yeah this is one of those um, expensive gifts that you want to um, that, that would be appropriate to buy for your uh, loved ones, um, either your family, your friends, uh, or boyfriend, girlfriend. And uh, finally, we come to the Hogwarts castle itself. So look at that. Would you just look at that? That they basically just recreated the 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 the, uh, the outside, the exterior of the castle is very much like the what what one would have imagined when one reads the book. Yeah, and of course there's there's more cuts on the side with the shot <laughs> with the ones right, and yeah so uh, they are quite pricey these ones, uh, yeah and they they are life size replica of the uh, of the of the ones and they, they come with a specially made uh, specially made uh, warranty cards and instruction manual. So yeah, so this is this is probably uh, one of the nice things that you can get someone there. But coming back to the Hogwarts Castle, basically um, in the books, uh, the Hogwarts Castle is uh, is written to be uh, 
sitting on a, on an island, kind of an island surrounded by a lake. And this is this is basically they cre recreated the whole place with the, with the trees and the and the and the lake surrounding it, and it, it was majestic. It was just then there, um, and of and uh, of course, like um, um, at some point, I had to go to the bathroom. And yeah, surprise, surprise, the bathroom was a morning myrtle bathroom. So when one was <laughs> taking a piss uh, inside the bathroom, uh, you can hear morning myrtle basically uh, whispering things in your ears. And um, I think I think it was uh, someone's idea of a joke, of <laughs> like creating uh, what J.K. Rowling envisioned as a very spooky and scary uh, haunted bathroom. And um, Yes, people remember Morning Myrtle's. Uh, this is quite a morbid fact, but uh, Morning Myrtle actually tells herself. Um, yeah, and uh, of course, uh, when we finally got into the queue, uh, we were filled with so much anticipation of what the interior of the castle is going to look like. But let me just tell you in advance, if you have somewhere else to be or you want to go and see something else in Universal Studios, I advise you to actually just pick either the ride, the roller coaster ride, or the or the see, queuing up for the Hogwarts Castle because uh, you you will be pressed for time if you do both. The queue is particularly long, especially if you don't have a time entry tickets. And to be honest, it was quite disappointing for the Hogwarts tour, big in like interior tour, because um, it was very very dark inside, and you pretty much can't see anything. Like I used infrared to to shoot this one. This was inside inside the shop. Uh, that uh, like uh, after the whole tour, like you always um, have this uh, shop at the end of your tour, just to and test you, you know. In the hope that somebody would, uh, you know, that uh, that you would buy something uh, after that whole experience. So one of the things that I really wanted to get, and in the end didn't get, was the Marauders map. Yeah, a replica of the Marauders map there. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, I think for those of you who love adrenaline rush, I would just recommend you to take the roller coaster ride. So basically, it's a roller coaster ride down to. Uh, the Green Gods um, Wizarding Bang that is guided by goblins is basically uh, right an assault in the senses where you get things popping up as you were rushed, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> on this cart. Yeah, so um, at high speed, and yeah, so basically, I would advise you to actually just do the ride if you love uh, these kind of stuff. And uh, finally, and um, going back to the Allery. Uh, Yes, now you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so basically, they have not real owls, uh, replica owls that looks real, and also the the, the bird droppings that I mentioned earlier, just to recreate that whole feeling that you are you're really in Hogwarts. And eventually, um, at the end of the uh, tour, we have the stage play uh, nearing the exit, and um, I have no idea what the people were talking about, like the actors were talking about, because they were all talking Japanese. Uh, but it seems that they were they were try they were going on a hero quest to open this entrance into another world. And uh, yeah, the, if you if you stick around long enough in Universal Studios and you haven't gotten gotten tired at the end of the day, there is fireworks in Hogwarts Castle in the evenings, in some evenings. So just make sure you check that out. Or we didn't get a chance to see it. All right, until the next trip. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone. Bye.